I am so mad right now. This girl was bullied to suicide by a bunch of boys. They won't even reveal their identities. Just watch. She was amazing. She was beautiful. She cared so deeply about everybody. Alice and Joshua are dealing with an unimaginable loss. The death of their preteen daughter, Flora. She was the most outdoorsy city girl you can imagine. <laughs> she, she could take it for just so long and she was ready to go home. So she loved to dance and sing. She's a very, very good artist. She could draw just about anything. She was really great at that. She was just a very loving girl. At home, she she loved her family. You know, she uh, she loved to conversate with us. She loved to have her friends over. She had a lot of friends. She was just a, a very loving person, very caring, very loving. The bullying began shortly after Flora started sixth grade in Las Vegas, Nevada, this past fall. Maybe the first three or four weeks, everything was okay, and then. She started slowly having problems right around after a month, I believe. It started just at school and towards the end of the school year, it moved its way to social media. From what I understand, it was a private group on Instagram that she and a bunch of other kids were a part of. I haven't seen, seen it myself because it's obviously a private group, but one parent did, and some of the things they said weren't, weren't so nice. So. She sent us screenshots of the conversations that she was seeing. And I don't understand how these kids learn these things. It's not something that, you know, you or I would even think of to say. And these little 12 year olds are just throwing it out there, spewing venom. I don't know where they, you know, learn to be so hateful at such a young age. I believe there was some pictures that a little boy posted of her and was just saying how ugly she was. Alice and Joshua say their complaints to the school didn't work. Every time that she complained about being bullied, the kid that was bullying her was suspended. She was also suspended. And then there was also one or two times there was a no contact order and you know she would get in the car wondering what she did wrong to be suspended when she was told come find the assistant principal and she would handle it how do Her you way explain of that when you don't even understand it yourself she said walk away come find me and i will take care of it and every time she did she has to spend it too. Trying to school year. On May 7th, Joshua was making dinner. He went to check in on Flora. Her bedroom door was locked, which he says was not typical. He got a key and opened the door. And that is when he found his daughter. I rushed in, grabbed her, got her down, and started CPR until first responders arrived. My other son was there. He helped he was, him yeah. get her down. And he had to get the ligature off her neck and everything so he could do CPR. But Flora could not be saved. The little girl was pronounced dead at the hospital. Her funeral was held days later. Even after Flora's death, the online vitriol didn't stop, her parents say. After she passed away, it got real ugly real fast. They were saying things like, I'm glad she's dead. It makes me the happiest person in the world. Another one said, may she rest in piss instead of peace. I wish I could go to her house and shoot her corpse up with my gun. Yeah, very horrible things. Social media has made it to where uh, you can talk about people from afar and have no consequences. Flora's parents say that no one from the school has reached out to them, apologized, or even extended their condolences. Al I know her bullies were boys, or at least I'm 99% sure, because 99% of the time, only a male can say something as violent and heinous as shooting up someone's corpse. Even though girls can be mean to each other, does that sound like something a girl would say? 
and to not feel any guilt or sadness and to continue to bully a girl after she died. These boys are absolute psychopaths. They'll probably grow up to become America's future criminals and or misogynists. They have no respect for human life as shown by how they treated this girl and no one from that school stood up for her. She even got suspended probably for defending herself. The school should probably be sued and these boys should be dealt with in some kind of way. They probably won't change and become better. They'll become a part of the group of bad men out there who ruin America and the rest of the world, especially for women. I've been bullied in middle school and it wasn't nearly as bad as this. I guess the bullying problem is far worse in America than in Canada, just like with its problem with violent crimes and guns. And girls obviously get bullied worse than boys do, by both boys and other girls. But it's worse when boys bully girls because there is a power imbalance. And men from the Red Pill community on YouTube want to talk about how men have it harder than women do. How modern women are so heartless. How men get humiliated and rejected by women. That's nothing compared to what females go through. Look at how those boys treated this particular girl. She had a crush on a boy and he asked her out just to call her ugly in front of everyone and humiliate her. Men and boys seriously need to look at how they act themselves before they get on YouTube and talk about female behavior. And men and boys really need to understand why women and girls become feminists or even misandrists. Look at how males treat females, especially in school, all the way to the playground to senior years. And males act this way not because they have it so hard, but because of sadistic pleasure. They like watching others suffer. They find entertainment in that. I don't care what anyone says. Women and girls have it harder than men and boys do. And it's males who have all the power, say the most heinous things, and commit most of the atrocities in this world. And those boys from that killer middle school in Las Vegas who bullied Flora Martinez should all be held accountable. We cannot let them ruin any more female lives. No justice for women and girls, no peace.